Greetings, internetizens. This is Elmerthian playing Hollow Knight. In the last episode, I uh, obtained this sweet shield and uh, also the dream nail and also some knowledge about the dreamers who are sleeping in order to protect some vessel that's keeping a hollow nest alive. What is it a vessel for? A soul? Is this kingdom a lich? So. The uh, dreamers are Monomon the teacher in the Foglands. She's also a poet. And she should be the one with the four eyes. Between Green Path and the Fungal Wastes, apparently Lurian the Watcher in the city. Hmm. Well, that's the one eyed one. Probably, and here are the beast with the six eyes somewhere to the left. But now I'm gonna check out more of this graveyard. Hera is supposedly in some dark place. Good thing I've got a lamp. Some dreamcatcher particles and a ghost. Stop there. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better to rest there until time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom. I thought that strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams I would cut the plague with my nails and then I turned my weapons upon the king. So you were the one who turned against the king and his curse. When I awoke in this sacred place, I began to understand. Those who hold are already doomed. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that. Do you still hope, wanderer? Will you flee? Or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? Well, I might as well fight you. Yeah. Nail squirrel, of course. And the shield is also a weapon. No boss gates. I could technically leave, but that would stop the fight. And I would have to start over. Nice horns, though. Lots of upslashing here. Ah, I dropped my mic. I mean, it fell. I wasn't holding it. Is this leggy? I can get out of this range, no I'm not. Morpha though. Uh, in Ocarina of Time. Apparently some people try to attack it from the islands. And I think it's just... Doesn't make sense, I just turn around and... 
got out of its range and then attacked it from my range. That's what the long shot is for. Best Zelda weapon. At least in the new games where magic requires ammo. Ooh, second phase. Second phase. Can I do this? Double the nails. Double the difficulty. Maybe not. Can I shoot you? No. He's too high for me to shoot. This boss is too damn high. He's got elevation. I need more so Oh no of masks, the ground is made of masks. Oh! That big uh, noise was um, the shade getting hit by my dream shield. Now, hitting them by the dream nail starts the fight right away. Them meaning ghosts. Like this. What? He's throwing his blade sideways. His glowing blades. Oh. He's a ghost, so his blades are made of magic. Magic? That uh, hurts enemies. Maybe Fury of the Fallen would help. Oh no. Maybe I should do the Crystal Caves first. Lots of sipping around. I'm a speedy little shadow bug. You see, the dream nail is uh, one hit. KO on the shade. I'm going home. Gonna check on an elder bug and my lap.
There's the station. Not this way, this is the crunchy coffin. Crunchy... The crunchy coffin sounds like some kind of bar. Uh, or like a tavern for pirates. But they're serial mascot pirates, like Captain Crunch. Let's go to Dark Mouth. Yeah. <sighs> Hello. Madaula, Misu. How oh, this is great capital is what most of you brave types come to see. Thinking to loot its treasures, I suppose. It must be brimming with them. The city is right at the center of the kingdom, though I have heard the gates are sealed, so gaining entry can be difficult. It would be a rich bug. Haven't I read this? Akala, I could try the Molek again. Since I've got an umbrella against the rain of acid. Sly, do you have anything to me? Nothing new, he just wants my money. Lots and lots of money. Ah, <sighs> nada. A map! A map of the resting grounds, a sacred place not far from the crossroads. Cornifer told me he found the area serene and calming, but it sounds a bit spooky to me. No thanks. Well, resting grounds does sound like a holiday resort. Ah, <sighs> nada. Oh. Cornifer's been telling me about these strange whispering roots he's been seeing. I made some pins so you can record their locations yourself. Hmm. Oh! And a pin for the <sighs> fightable Fight ghosts. I'll get this marker. I might eventually get to use it. Uh, I just wanna buy out all the shops. But this is an unfightable ghost. If I hit it with the dream nail, I just uh, kill it and get one essence. Uh, another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your way. If you want spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. Do as you will, little wonder. Cut a path toward your goal. I shouldn't complain. It's your kind that keeps folks like me in business. They don't seem to flash orange when I hit them with the shield. This is the egg. Is the egg the vessel? It has the dreamer's faces on it. Just kill this guy for some money. Strong bugs are typically rich, except for most bosses. My 
ว่า I'm so close. Keep singing, Christos. Keep singing so I can find you. Keep whispering, Christos. I can almost hear what you're saying. Ah, nothing new. I have a new item, new major item, and still nothing new. Well, I could use some salt. This is crunchy down. Where was the entrance to the mines? Above me. Below. <laughs> I'm confused now. Yes, this is not the place, right? There was just a caterpillar and a big zombie with a club. Salubra, cable bus, Myla. Myla. It's under Myla. This is the place, I can see it by the darkness and by the scuttling noises. This is one big, these are two big scuttlers. Mind over matter and soul over substance. Not in physical substance, not substance in the conceptual, some weird, like, importance thing. I'm bad at formulations. And sometimes I get sophisticated as hell, as TV tropes call it. I like this shield. And I don't like conveyor belts. They take me to places I don't want to be. I recognize this darkness and this fog. It's eerie here, eerie and ominous, and uh, there's a lot of spikes that I can manage. I have my trusty lantern and my nail, and uh, my bug fighting training. Yes, and I'm a bug that fights other bugs.
Now I remember there was something about supposedly there's a D and D book called Dragonlance, like an actual non-interactive fiction book. And uh, then there's a movie based on it, and the, the wizard of the team is like evil, but and he's obviously evil, but nobody notices. And at some point he says about feeding someone to the great worm caterp caterpillars, which at that point it goes from generic uh, over to fantasy villain to a kid talking about their pet. Uh, I don't know. Pet worm, I suppose, but they don't know the difference between worms and caterpillars at the point. So they named the worm caterpillars. And someone in the comments of the video that was reacting to the movie or uh, like reviewing it, someone in the comments uh, said, What about the great caterpillar worm use? Variables are scary, but sometimes then ca they can help transport me to places I want to be. Like I'm some kind of rock. Because conveyor belts in mine mines are probable for transporting uh, the stuff that's being mined. <laughs> Not in mines, this isn't psychonauts. Has there been a mind with conveyor belts in it? I can't slash these, but my shield can kill them. So I'm gonna check what I killed. Discharges searing beams of light from the crystals on its back as it crawls around, seemingly unaware. Basically, dumb wall crawler but with lasers. Safe dark. This is what happens when you dream nail enemies, you get so. And the most uh, animal enemies have uh, this. They have the same set of lines. It's scared of light because it uh, indicates the presence of civilized entities or predators. And maybe I'm thinking too much like a human. Civilized entities are predators. And don't forget there are bioluminescent bugs out there. Mind the bright. Must find more light. It's dwarfs like... I mean, the, these miners like their shiny stuff. I can't get across this. Nope. And the music is getting intense. Is that like the scary place with the bobbing up and down chestnuts? Chestnut wearing bugs? Wait, was there a map? Map man! No, I was trying to shoot the laser creature.
Hi. <laughs> Not that they're smart enough to follow orders. I've recently been asked uh, if any of the Hollow Knight uh, bosses are actually someone's bosses, and I'd say Venge Viking was a girl's mother. Uh, she can barely think for herself, let alone others, and girls are dumb. They wouldn't go out of uh, their way to do your biddings. Even if you controlled their mind. And the... Uh, <laughs> uh, most boss is for bugs, at least. Maybe some saved themselves. Maybe there were some I killed that didn't come out after the fight. I will kill you. Oh, these things might want to be hurt me, so kind of hostile. But they can't act on it because they're too dumb. This is too high. But mad man, come to scale the mountain. I've heard tales of a summit way up there. Too far for me though, and I'm not really one for heights. Yes, give me the map. Oh, what? I pressed A instead of you. I mean why? I chipped myself on one of those crystals back there. Awful sharp they are and all over the place. And there's bugs that shoot them out. You'd best to watch yourself if you're heading up. <laughs> to chart to the world, walk to joy. If only Isolda could share the thrill. Poor guy just wants to be with his wife. Show me the map. Chris Peak. I should check out some more stuff in these mines. It's really noisy up here. And the miners are real aggressive. And this is a new enemy, Shard Mine. Looks more like an isopod than a mite. Mites are soft. I mean, among arachnids, ticks are in the mite category. Feeds on crystal dust and uses crystallized spines to protect itself from danger. Oh, I'm get trying to get up there. But I'm bad at wall jumping. Yes, I was trying to kill it. Bench this way? Is the boss hogging the bench? Tired so long. Well, let's hope you don't heal me the fight. Mr. Crystal Guardian. That's a lot of roars. Oh no. Well, I think I'll be stopping here. <sighs> so, I'm gonna put on my OBS and see you next time.